Hi, I'm Trish Evans at the Rockville Senior Center. And on this edition of 60 Plus Spotlight, we're gonna talk about arts and enrichment programs. So let's get into it. We are so excited in this edition to have Kelly Day Terry, the Arts and Enrichment Supervisor here at the Senior Center. Kelly, thanks so much for doing this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so arts and enrichment, what does that even mean? That It sounds like... I, I have a fun job. I get to plan a variety of things for seniors to keep them engaged with each other. I do, we have classes from watercolors to playing ukulele, learning how to play that, to learning how to cook from home. And even we've had um, tastings of let's try some whiskey, let's try some beer. We've done a lot of different things to keep the seniors engaged, it's very important. We've even gone to Ireland, different countries, through tours by locals where you're actually in that country on the ground with the tour guide, which has been really cool. That's awesome. So obviously virtually. Virtually, yes. yes. Yeah, because if you were going to Ireland, I'm gonna be a senior soon and yes, I'm coming you. Yes, you would totally be with me. There but you go. The seniors pivoted to online very nicely, so we've been able to keep them engaged during COVID. And the variety of, I know you have a lot of speakers and experts, and tell me about how you find these people. So believe it or not, a lot of it is through Instagram, social media, and the seniors just telling us some topics that they like, and then we just start to research it. Um, I really enjoy like finding some fun things that we think that they would enjoy that we see other people. So if you're out and about, we're like, oh, we might have to try that. So, and we also like to support all the local businesses in Rockville. So we get Hammer and Stain, different places like that to come in and do things with our seniors. And so are these, these kind of programs seasonal? So we do have ones that we typically have every season, like our watercolors, our music classes, and our history speakers. But we do try to bring in different seasonal ones to make it, you know, a little more fun. Like we have a calligrapher coming for February to make those Valentines a little more special. So we just try different things like that. So, and we also take any ideas if anybody has any. And um, what is the average participation or does it just depend on the topic or the kind of activity? Uh, sometimes we can take a little more when we're doing things virtually. Uh, so it all just depends on our instructor, how many people that they would like to take. And usually if we do have a wait list, we can talk the instructor into taking more people. So that always works out nicely. And so you want every senior to have an opportunity to participate. What about people who may struggle a little bit with the cost of some of these programs? The great thing about the Senior Center is we have the Senior Assistance Fund, so the seniors can reach out to us. It's confidential and we can let them know because we don't want anyone to ever miss out. It's important to keep engaged and be connected with each other. So these trips are not just virtual, you do other local trips? Tell me about those. Yes, so we do do some trips that are local in Rockville and um, we utilize the Rockville Senior Center buses, which is wonderful, the staff do that for us. And then we do go a little farther and take coach buses and go to like St. Michael's, Annapolis, you know, we'll go to some wineries. So we are trying to stay busy. Um, one of the big things this year was going to the Nats game, even though they're not doing so well, the seniors had a great time. We had great seats and it was a great outing for everyone. You always worked with the younger, with younger residents of uh, Rockville, you know, for kid, little teeny to middle school to high school. What has it been like for you? Because you haven't been at the center for very long. No, it's been great. Um, we actually started some intergenerational programs because I do think it's important to, you know, combine the youth with the seniors. Uh, we currently are doing some virtual programs, which have been amazing. Topics as what was popular music when you were born with the middle schoolers and the seniors on the same Zooms together has been pretty cool. So each week we have a different topic and the seniors come with their um, information, the, um, the teens come and they all talk. So that's been really neat. We also have incorporated a lot of volunteers that are teenagers coming in to volunteer with the seniors. So the seniors have really enjoyed that this year. Yeah, let's, let's talk about um, sort of the, the free events or very, very low cost that really get a lot of people gathered. 
So we do like to celebrate everyone. So we celebrate their birthday and their anniversary. It could be anniversary for anything. Um, we try to do that once a quarter and we have an entertainer come and we have a special treat and the seniors really like that. And then we have a little tchotchke for them to have when they're leaving. That's really nice. We do have a supper club with entertainment. We have it catered and um, we usually have a sponsor because of you. So we have a happy hour before it and the seniors really enjoy that. And it's just all about like connecting and meeting friends. And I think what warms my heart is when we get off the bus from a trip or we're leaving a program and the seniors are exchanging phone numbers and emails and I'm like, yay, I accomplished something today. They like made a friend and that's what's important. That's what we're here for. Someone who uh, isn't familiar, mm -hmm. who's watching this, how do they find out what's going on? Stop by, come visit us at the Rockville Senior Center, go online or give us a call. We have a wonderful rec guide that comes out. If you call us, we can make sure we get it mailed to you, even if you're not a resident of the city of Rockville. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. And I know the seniors do too, because I have been on one of those trips lately and I made friends, you know, I was there as a staff person to support you, but mm -hmm. I, I saw what you're talking about, about that connection yeah. and friends and, you know, people who didn't know each other were still, you know, were chatting on the way back. It was, it was pretty special. So what you do is really important. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me today. So for more information about arts and enrichment programs here at the Senior Center, you can go online at rockvillemd.gov and check out the Senior Recreation Guide. And as always, the staff here at the Senior Center is here for you. Give us a call at 240-314-8800.